I'm Tina Siddiqui. I'll be teaching various classes at the Vernon Community Arts Centre. Um, I enjoy painting in pastels, acrylics, collage, oils, you name it. I do use a lot of colour and I encourage my students to do the same. Pastels being the easiest colour medium, I'm sure even beginners would enjoy it tremendously. Okay, so this is how I proceed with um, pastel portraits. I do a charcoal sketch first, one for getting to know the, art, uh, the model a little better, and then that saves me from erasing too much or adjusting on my pastel paper where I need to uh, save some tooth there. So after having done a charcoal sketch, which of course I use willow charcoal because it's ever so easy to manipulate, I transfer this on my selected pastel paper. And this, of course, is a portrait from a photograph. Next process is to get my palette ready for the darks, mediums, and lights. So I select my pastels. And as with all opaque mediums, I start from dark to light. So I'm going to indulge in using my darks. Unlike watercolor pastels, you have to start with darks or else the Painting gets very muddy in the end if you apply the darks later. So, <coughs> using the side of the pastels, I've got a charcoal gray, I've got a deep blue, and I'm using a brown as well. I'm going to adjust these and blend and layer them up as I go along. So, I've got my middle tones here burnt sienna, and of course, one of my favorite colors being purple. Gradually I'm coming into the lights. I don't want to jump into the lights too early or else again the painting tends to lose its freshness of colors and with pastels of course it's the vibrancy of the colors and how pure the pigments are that make it ever so attractive. Okay, so this is collage with prepared paper as well as uh, some found papers or foil paper, chocolate wrappers. Acrylics are used on lightweight watercolor paper. Uh, I start with basic of three colors because I have a color scheme already planned out uh, and I use a little bit of handmade paper or a commercially produced handmade paper as a neutral so that my image merges into my background. Next, I'm going to sketch my image here using a willow charcoal. Once the image is there, it's the painting that's going to dictate what I need to do. I use acrylics as opposed to watercolors because I need to glaze my painting as I proceed. And of course, knowing watercolors, they would dissolve um, with my glazes. So. Right here, I see the image. I'm going to paint the, the background. I can glaze my colors. Although this is green and putting a wash of burnt umber on it, I can still retain my texture. So painting the negative spaces as well as the positives with glazes is how I proceed with this process here. Some colors are more opaque than others. So the use of glazes is very, very important. It's a lot of planning that goes on. Okay, okay. working on an acrylic, a water-based permanent medium. Again, um, quite forgiving uh, as opposed to watercolors because it does allow corrections at any stage. I encourage students to use both uh, the transparent glazes for acrylics as well as heavy application. You can use a brush um, or a palette knife or any other tool for that matter. So it's an enjoyable medium. You can work on canvas board, canvas surfaces, on paper, wood, metal, you name it. So again, being an, an opaque medium, it has to go from dark to light, so that's one thing to remember about acrylics, especially if you are doing it in the opaque uh, 
um, style. Dark to light. You can overlap colors. Light will cover up the dark and give you a lot of room to manipulate and enjoy. It's good to try different subjects, different styles, different color schemes. It only enriches our knowledge and pushes us to explore something different, something new, and one can easily develop a style just by exploration.